welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at a brand new robot. This year is it, Eggy. Now, at first it just seems like an ordinary egg style of robot. However, it is a drawing robot that works via magnets to go ahead and essentially create an arm that allows you to go ahead and draw in front of you and teach you about drawing as well as other different things, including coursework for STEM education, mathematics, alphabets. Everything's kind of programmed into this little egg. Now, it's actually a really cool concept and the fact that it can go draw right in front of you is actually very unique, something we've never seen in any robot we reviewed before. Now, if you guys want your very own egg, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it and seeing what it comes with as well as giving it a test run with my son Hamza and seeing exactly what it can do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so this is the box. So this here is our We Draw box kind of showcasing what this robot is about. So it is called Eggy, the robot teacher. Meaning you can go ahead and teach you your alphabets, your numbers, and then over here shows that there's over 10 different subjects, 300 courses, 500 learning cards, and 3,000 learning points. So there's actually a good amount of information based into this robot, so it's definitely a STEM education robot. Now, the unique thing about this particular robot is the ability to draw. So let's see what's in here and see what it's all about. So this is kind of what it is. So you get yourself a user guide, you get a thank you card, and then we have ourselves a two pens actually, so that's nice. So this here is a special pen that Eggy uses. Uh, and then we have ourselves the magnetic arm. So this here is how Eggy draws. So it's kind of interesting, it's like a joint system, so that's kind of unique. Uh, kind of curious to see how this all plays out. So we have two magnets here, and then we have our Eggy robot. All right. So first thoughts, uh, it's actually a little bit smaller than I was like, imagining. Uh, so it's kind of interesting how they kind of created this robot in a smaller scale. Uh, you have your sensor here on the front. So you go ahead and place the card in front of the robot's eye and I'll go ahead and read it. And then I'll go ahead and perform that particular course based off of that. You do have your action button here on the top. So I believe if you're continuing throughout the progress, you just hit that button on the top there. Uh, you have your speaker on the back and then you can see how the magnet works. Uh, it looks like there is a spring-loaded servo. I'm not exactly too sure about the finer details. Uh, and there's a lot of different interesting mechanical mechanisms that I can see going out throughout it. Uh, you have a soft pad on the bottom here. And then lastly, you have a charger port on the back. So as we kind of move about, we have our playing cards. So these here are all the different card packs that we get. There's actually a good amount in this particular kit. All right, so these here are all the different cards that we get. Uh, so kind of working our way from one side to the other, uh, we have our word cards. So these are kind of cool. So on the back side, they all just say words, but on the front here, these are different words or especially like expressions. Uh, these are fruits. Uh, these are different characters. You have a family tree. So they essentially would uh, draw out a word and teach you that word. So it's kind of cool that they have these educational platforms based into the cards. Uh, then we have our maze and a variety of different knowledge series. Uh, so this here is a maze series. So kind of flip it over, kind of show different mazes. Uh, we have a natural knowledge. So this we're going to teach you about natural knowledge in terms of the weather, uh, drawing with numbers in terms of creating characters with a variety of numbers. Uh, being able to draw with different shapes. So it'll teach you like this is a square, this is a triangle. Uh, animal cognition, so it'll draw out animals and teach you about animals. Uh, fantasy creatures, so like dragons, uh, unicorns, whatever. <laughs> uh, and then a variety of different emotions from love, sadness, happiness, stuff like that. So that's kind of cool that they have these cards built into it. Now we have uh, number cards. So these here are a variety of different numbers. So you'll see that it'll go ahead and draw out a variety of different things from a number of candy to a number of bottles. Um, and then as we kind of roll our way through these, uh, they have a variety of different images, which are really nice. Uh, it's like a bunch of star, uh, stars and, you know, just a different amount of numbers that kind of portray it in a image sense. Uh, now we have these cards here regarding alphabets. So these are kind of cool. So it'll teach you a letter uh, correlated with an animal or an object. In this case, E is for elephant. So that is cool. Uh, you have all your different letters here and then you have all these different objects. So you have like oranges, mushrooms, lions, kites, jellyfish, everything correlated with a specific letter. 
Um, then as we continue on, we also have numbers. So these here are a variety of numbers, uh, which you can see that it correlates with these different number of objects. So for instance, uh, this one has four stars and then it says number four. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we have our other alphabets that continue with those. Uh, so there's a good amount of those. And then we have some more alphabets uh, continuing with the full ABCs to down to the Zs, uh, down to zipper for Z. Uh, and then we have some art cards. So these cards here will teach you how to go and draw a variety of different things in terms of monsters goes. So you have like a one foot monster, a monster baby, and these different art creatures that you'll be able to draw. Uh, moving on, we have more words. So these here are words that correlate with professions as well as objects from cars to planes um, and then more professions. So you have like a farmer, a doctor, a firefighter, boat, a helicopter, ambulance. So it's kind of cool that they have these variety of different words to teach you about objects and uh, professions. Uh, we have more words. <laughs> so these here are a lot of words teaching the child how to go ahead and draw different things. Uh, these here are cool. So this is like, who am I cards? So these are almost like anime cards. So you can see like, it'll say, who am I? And you can tell like, this is a frog, but it'll draw out the frog and you'll have to guess it as it happens. I really like that animation uh, design. That's really cool. And then we have more artwork. Uh, these are more monsters that you can draw. So you can see all the different monsters and then you have dinosaurs. Uh, and then you have these other different creatures, which is really, really cool. And then lastly, we have our numbers. Uh, so we have more numbers here. Uh, these here are a variety of different objects with numbers. So like two ladybugs, uh, a variety of number of balloons and just different things that you can go ahead and draw. So it's kind of cool how they did that. You know, you, you can do a variety of different tasks all built into these cards and there's almost a lot of different variations of things giving you endless play amount of time. Lastly, we have our charger cable. So this here is a standard USB-C cable. Now the robotic arm features two magnets. Uh, these particular magnets will clip into place here just like that. And this one will go into place just like that. Looks pretty cool. So this here is our arm. Oh, okay. So yeah, so you don't want to move it around too much. I think it just does its own thing. All right. I think now let's go ahead and turn on this guy and see what happens. All right. So we're all set and ready to go. I have my son Hamza. Hi. And today we'll be looking at the Eggy Robot. You ready? Yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Um, now, first thing before we turn around, you want to make sure you mount the pen on correctly. So if you look at the pen itself, there's actually an indentation that you actually go ahead and make sure that the screw goes between the two. So we're going to go ahead and remove the pen cap, just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and put our eggy right over here. Let's make a, let's draw a crocodile. You want to draw a crocodile? Yeah. Wait. All right, so we're going to show the crocodile to it. All right. So now it's our turn. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and draw out the nostril and draw out the pointed teeth. All right, and hit okay. Okay. Next, it's belly and legs. This is so cool. Look how it's moving. Not only is it moving left and right, but it's also moving up and down. So we're going to draw the belly and the legs. All right, go ahead and okay. Okay. Look, it's eyes now added. The two round ones are connected together. Like the number eight line. Oh, look, it's actually showing a number eight. That's cool. So we're going to do a circle, circle, and a number eight. <laughs> Hit okay. Also, look at its small hand. <laughs> So it's a number six. Ah, oh, that's cool. Amy bird, you bring me. It's his hands. The pain bird. Amy bird. Small crocodile has a pointed tail. Amy bird. It's a bunch of threes. Finally, the little oh. crocodile is drawn. Oh. Go and fill it with the colors. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. See dinosaur. All right. All right. And we drew ourselves a crocodile. There's ours. Or mine, I guess you could say. Hums is too small to draw, but that's pretty cool, huh? What's he get? Yeah, we'll try a different one. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll do a guessing game, okay? This one right over here. Yeah. 
Now, Hamza doesn't know what it is, but I do, and I'm sure you guys do too. All right, Hamza, you're gonna have to guess this one, okay? Just scan it, and then we're gonna hit okay. Let's draw an animal. Okay, we're gonna draw an animal. Please? Hmm, what is it drawing? It has a big body. Um, Whoa. Heavy wings. Hmm, I don't know what it is. Let's keep guessing. So this is kind of cool. So it's like a little mini game. So uh, you keep pressing the button and you have to keep guessing until you get there. What is that? What is it, Hamza? Um, an elephant. An elephant? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. One long nose. Ah, it's an elephant. <laughs> Me again, this again, this again. Yeah. Awesome. That'd be awesome. Wait. Wait. It is elephant. P. Look, it's writing the word. It's writing out the word elephant. All right. Good job. All right. Go ahead, show yeah. the elephant. Show the elephant. So that is our elephant. That is cool. That is you cool. All right. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. So you can draw different animals. You can draw numbers okay. and again, <laughs> and a lot of other characters. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you had any questions about this particular robot, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.